Welcome to another Wednesday's Devotions. Good to have you with me and to share a little bit into the Word of God. Now, on Sunday past, we had, I had the privilege to interview the Reverend Charles James, the dominie of this local congregation that's allowed me to use their facilities to share the Word. And he spoke about against all odds facing a crisis and how they overcame the Jericho walls. Today, I want to switch around a little bit and say that to break down the walls was God's helping them. But what about walls that were broken down and now we face the crisis to build them up? I'm talking about Nehemiah, who was a slave and the cupbearer of the Persian king Artaxerxes. And he was taken captive along with Judah almost 70 years ago when Nebuchadnezzar came and destroyed the city of Jerusalem, also destroyed the temple and the walls surrounding that. And now Nehemiah gets a message 70 odd years later that the walls of Jerusalem are broken down. The gates are not working anymore and the people, the remnant that are staying there are in danger of their lives. He gets this and he does something amazing, something that could be relevant for you and for me today when we face all these against all odds, when we face these crises. He faces a wall that is broken down. And in Nehemiah 1 verse 4, he, we read that he mourns, he grieves, it's it really hit him in his heart and he pours his heart out to God and then he fasts and then he prays continually. He prays continually. Now the point that we want to make about this before we go a bit further onwards is that when you are faced with a crisis like we heard on Sunday and you now like a, Jero a, a Nehemiah, what do you do? You pray. And the part of his prayer is in Nehemiah 1 and the first part of verse 6, which he says, Let your ear, that's God, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer. Your servant is praying before you day and night for your servants, the people of Israel. Praying for other people. That's a topic for another Sunday soon to come. But you see, he was an ordinary man. He was just a, he was just a, a slave. He was a cupbearer. And all of a sudden, he take, he's, he f he's given this opportunity to approach the king. And eventually, to cut that long story short, he's allowed to go back and he's allowed to get people together to start the rebuilding of the walls. The Bible also tells us that the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and the ears are attentive to their cry. So this is encouraging for me and it should be encouraging for you is that God sees the odds that we face and he hears the prayers around how do we overcome these things. The big crisis was the opposition that Nehemiah faced in the rebuilding of the wall. And I've spoken about this in a few months ago. And the opposition was led by a man by the name of Sanballat. And they were not only just opposed to the wall, they were actually preparing to go in and to stop it, whatever means possible. And of course, Nehemiah, he gets a message from God and he puts people on the wall. Uh, some of them are building and some of them are standing God. And all the time in Nehemiah 4 verse 14, he encourages the people and he says, God is great and awesome. When you're facing strong opposition, remember one thing. God still is great and he is awesome. He is absolutely awesome. And guess what? They completed in the face of this opposition, they completed building the walls in 52 days, something that modern technology would never be able to do. I want to leave you with a last scripture from Nahum chapter 1 verse 7, which says, The Lord is good 
a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. In this time, in the beginning of the year 2023, let's realize and confess and trust in this great and awesome God that against all odds, no matter what the opposition is, he cares for you and he cares for me. Father God, I thank you for that. I pray that you will give us that strength to always, no matter what we face in life, to put our trust and our hope in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. This coming Sunday is going to be another interview with a very, very special lady who's got an amazing testimony. Until then, God bless.